While driving your car in traffic, you might find yourself searching for the fastest lane. In Supercross, there's only one lane. However, the riders have many choices of lines within that one lane. Let's take a look at how these riders pick the fastest line around the track. With the help of GPS and Lit Pro Technologies, you can pretty much cover every inch of any movement around the Supercross track. Now I'm gonna throw my helmet on, show you guys the shortest route. The shortest route around the track is me hugging all the inside lines around all the corners for the whole lap. Sometimes they're a bit awkward, but sometimes you actually have to use those. All right, now let's go take a look at the longest way around the track. The longest route around the track is gonna look like me taking every berm on the whole track as high as you can take it and possibly with the most mile per hour. All right, now that we've seen the shortest way and the longest way around the track, we're gonna have Axel Hodges go out and essentially take the race line, which will be a combo of insides and outsides, which in the end should be the fastest way around the track. So Axel, what goes into the thought process of sort of taking the race line that you wanted to, to make your fastest lap out there? Went out there, tried to find all the lines that I didn't have to break too much or pivot too much to lose my forward momentum. Nice and smooth is usually the fastest way, so. All right, Chris, tell us why line choice makes a big difference. Yeah, well, we can see here from the data, you know, going inside, you have to slow down so much, you might not have as much traction. And on the outside, you can just carry more momentum and you'll get more speed on the exit, carrying yourself faster to the next section. It's funny, when you see this corner, it closes the distance on entry of the corner, but then your line just totally pulls away. Yeah, sometimes the inside lines are shorter, but maybe not necessarily faster, right, because of momentum. Well, you add those small parts times 20 or 25 laps, and all of a sudden you have a, you know, yep. five, six seconds at the end of the race, so it's huge. 